Yo, yo, man, hey, I got to talk about this Dateline uh, episode that just came on this week called The Hands of a Killer and it involves the 2019 murder of an Arkansas senator named Linda Collins. You talk about a twist, and I want to talk about this, but those who don't want to hear the ending or me ruin it, get off of here now and go watch this shit because it's twisted. You ain't going to believe what happened in this one because in her... um situation of her june 4th 2019 death out there in pocahontas arkansas wherever it's called she's found outside her home in the driveway in front of her garage body under a tarp and the way her body was discovered is her father and son was stopping by her house to do a wellness check because they haven't heard from her and when they go to the home they can't find her the father asked his grandson to look under the tarp when he went over there because a bunch of flies and shit. They discover her body. Um, so now they're trying to figure out. Now, all, you know, she had just recently lost the election. So it looked like it could be some political shit. She's just going through a nasty divorce um, with her um, with her husband, who was at the time. Very, very nasty divorce. And so people painting the picture towards the husband. But as the investigation goes, they end up finding something different and the clues start pointing towards someone who was very close to her, worked as an assistant in her political campaign and became like a best friend to her during her divorce. But look at this video here and I'll break more of this shit down. Twist it like a motherfucker. O'Donnell putting a large knife in a purse. Detectives say she took Colin Smith's cameras, but forgot to delete some of the video. Hours after the murder, this nighttime video outside Colin Smith's home captures someone hiding under a white sheet going back inside. Days later, and en route to the former state senator's visitation, O'Donnell is taken into custody. You're under the risk of the murder, Linda. You understand that? We got you. We got you. We got video of you. You didn't erase them all. We got you. All right. There y'all see her looking clueless than a motherfucker. And where that shit picked up, man, which was a crazy shit. So as investigators, they got that video, which led to them being able to get a warrant. Now, where they serve and arrest this woman was her and her fiance, who they try to paint the picture that it was her ex-husband who was involved in a the murder. They try to really dirty up the name of her ex-husband because of the bitter divorce, paying him as a suspect. But when they found that video where this woman stole this uh, Linda Collins cameras from outside their home or in, even inside the home, stole those, put them in her purse, was leaving with it, her not realizing these cameras still had battery power. When she dropped the camera into the bag, the, the thing that fucked her over was a camera pointing directly up towards the ceiling capturing her putting a bloody knife into the bag um which just really turned this shit around and where they caught her was where they arrested her shall I say was heading to the funeral of linda collins ain't that some foul shit family sitting here grieving and the murderer heading right to her, to their uh uh you know day of remembrance and all that shit like it's foul as people in this world so then they continue on with the case this woman inside of jail try to put a hit out on the um the ex-husband and his wife and you know so on and so forth but the thing that pissed the family off and other uh people close to this uh senator was the fact that the state took a plea deal from the woman who pleaded guilty she ended up getting like 50 years and that was that, but this motherfucking episode was dope, and I ain't seen no Dateline shit in a long time. Something made me just pick to watch this shit, and the shit was good as fuck, and the investigation to that shit was like really some shit, because watching it, man, I would have thought it was like the ex-husband, or I was even thinking maybe it could have been one of her kids or some shit, but it's just twisted, man. You never know who smiles in your face that you know, ultimately becomes, you know, end up being true devil in your life, real snakes and shit. But uh, if you haven't seen that shit, man, even with me saying what's the the conclusion to it, it's still dope as hell to 
sit there and watch how this shit unravels and just the behavior and function and how they acted during this. Because even the son who discovers mom dead was like, he ain't never known these people, this lady and her fiance until her mother was going to their mother was going through this, you know, bitter divorce. And all of a sudden these people pop up. I mean, this shit was crazy, but that's all I got. Peace.